G'day guys and gals. Windswept Highlands today. Now this one with the daily is pretty tricky. Urgency 3. Uh, just affects the Blade Weavers though, so it's only half tricky. But that's it. I believe I've found a fairly reliable way to do it, so long as you've got some fairly sturdy operators. <clears throat> so I've got Myrtle with skill 2, because <clears throat> we're going to need her heal. Zimmer or any other decently high vanguard. Um, so I'm pretty sure in this lane, because this lane's not a very tanky lane that she'll be doing, you could pretty much use any vanguard you wanted, save Courier. I would probably avoid using Courier wherever mine's hiding. There he is. Um, Scavenger's fine. Um, most people got Texas already, so you can use Texas. Uh, I prefer Zimmer. Zimmer's my go-to, so... <clears throat> uh, one fairly decent single-target healer. I'm using Warfarin, so you could probably get away with using... Suzuro, actually, and Suzuro would probably be better. Uh, let's have a quick Goosey while we're here. Maybe. Because Suzuro skill 2 would actually be better, so... <clears throat> Go with Suzuro skill 2 and we'll see. Should be fine. Uh, a good AoE, not a healer. Uh, I'm using Telopsis. Uh, so you should be fine also if you want to use, say, Perfuma. Wherever my Perfuma is. There she is. Um, I just use Telopsis because I prefer her talent cooldown cycle. So, either way, Telopsis or Perfuma skill 1. Both with skill 1. Um, Cora I use <clears throat> mainly because of her heal. Um, so, I use her because of her high defense, but also because she heals when she's using a skill, so that just makes life a little bit easier for your healer. Um, I I would probably say stick to Korra no matter what here. But uh, I was using, I was trialing Saria in one of my previous runs, so Saria with skill 1 will work as well with this setup. Uh, I have Nurl. Now, I'm using Nurl because of a map-wide heal improving talent. <clears throat> because there's going to be a lot of damage going around. You can get away with using Gummy, but I would strongly suggest using Nurl if you've got her. Uh, I think most people should be leveling Nurl up by now, just because of the next Nurl that's coming through. Army with skill 1, don't use skill 2 because you'll hurt yourself. Because <clears throat> uh, it will enrage too many at the same time. So it's better to just stick with skill 1. Uh, it's the same if you're using someone like, say, Yef Yawa. Use, use skill 1, because you'll have a lot of trouble if you use skill 2. Uh, good short-range sniper, so I'm using Province. Uh, you could use Acid Drop if you want. If you've got to level up. Uh, you can go up, obviously. <laughs> you can use uh, wherever she is. Schwarz? I don't know where my Schwarz is. That's alright. So, Province skill 1, Utage skill 2, Akafuyu skill 2. Uh, if you don't have one or the other of these, just bring another fast redeploy if you've got another fast redeploy. Uh, so, um, 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 Project Red with skill 1 would be good. But preferably these two. Um, Utage for what I'm using it for, uh, she does tend to die very quickly, but yeah, it's much of a muchness. If you are bringing a fast redeployed, they'll probably die even quicker, so. Um, gravel, so a fast redeploy. And I have Serta with skill 3. So remember to borrow a Serta if you haven't got your 5 borrowed support units for the week, for your medal. And... 
If this helps out, guys, please sub, because it helps me out a lot. All right, so. We're going to start off with Myrtle. She's going to be up the back here. And once we get to 10, your next Vanguard in. Myrtle skill, we're going to use province first. Just here. So, these two blocked off tiles here, you don't want province shooting into those. So, that's a good visual guide for you guys. Sploptus. Now, you may need to reorder these deploys if you don't have your mastery skills where I've got mine. Because it might end up being a little tight for you guys. So, next up, we're going to pop in Korra once this guy gets to the halfway point. Because I want Myrtle attacking him. Use that heal. Uh, sorry, use that DP chant skill. Pop in a healer. There we go. So here come our first wave of nasties. So we're going to pop in Armia once this guy starts moving up after they've started heading up. And then we're going to deploy Serta here. Make sure she's facing away from the vents. I should have said that at the start. Make sure everybody's facing away from the vents so they all get their attack bonus. Because you'll need it. Now, I don't have to worry about this first Lancer. You guys may have to. So, I'm going to use Armia's skill here. I'll use Myrtle's skill instead of using Suzuro's. So, as soon as she's done, take her out. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to use Utage here. Pop in. I'm actually just going to let that hit Zimmer because I want Zimmer attacking that as well. So there goes Utage. I'm not too fussed about that. It is what it is. Then I'm just going to use my fast redeploy here to get more damage on that enemy. I'm going to use Korra's skill. I may, by the looks of it, have to use Suzuro's skill, even though Myrtle just got ready. Army is ready. So I'm going to take out my fast redeploy. And so the first two casters are moving now, and what will happen is these two melee guys will move now as well which is going to make it really, really tight. So I need you guys to just be super... As soon as that Lance is through... As soon as the Lance is through, drop in Akafuyu. And she will hopefully grab one of the casters. Then we're going to use Akafuyu's skill. And she's not supposed to die, but that's all right. As soon as it's dead or she dies, we're going to drop in Serta. And then we're just going to use everybody's skill. Everybody's skill. Except for Suzuro, because we need her. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave Surtur in until this caster here dies. Or until Surtur just expires, because I think mine's just about to expire. No, there she goes. Good. Okay, now, this is the trickier part. Stab and pull out with your fast redeploy. Because you don't want to hold that enemy here, because as you can see, it's attacking our line. Then we're going to use Utage. Now, I don't expect Utage to kill that enemy. Straight up, I'll be dead honest with you guys, I don't expect her to kill it. If she does, sweet. If she doesn't, 
whatever. I just need as much damage on it as I can. Next one. Once again, drop and then pull back out once it's activated. Because I don't want it near my line. Once it gets down to here, drop in Akafuyu. And skill away. And there we go. So this enemy here, we don't need to worry too much. You probably need to use a skill. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop in our fast redeploy just to help give it a push. And once this enemy is moved out, we're going to drop Inserter up here. I'm going to take out Myrtle, give it a tap. Oh, there it goes anyway. And Inserter it to death. And then from there, we're just going to pick at these last enemies. And there we go. All done. So it's not too bad. You've just got to stay on top of your deploys. Uh, be mindful of what you're grabbing. Remember that some things may not die as well as they have in my video. So just be ready for, to be on top of that. You may need to use healer skills at other points. Uh, so just make sure you have them for when you need them. Outside of that though, guys, uh, as you saw, I still had an extra heal for Suzuro, so obviously you've got a little bit of wiggle room there with what you can do. And yeah, I hope it helps out, guys.